Welcome to Hunterstone. And the way that I like to get a general sense of how these cards are going is sort by drawn win rate. A uh, quick way of seeing what are the best performing cards in the deck. It turns out for the most part that's Subject 9, Lesser Emerald Spellstone, as you might expect. But what is not winning when you draw it? Well, it turns out that the weakest card in the deck, which I had initially thought might be the case, and every deck has to have the weakest card, but in this deck it happens to be Blood Scalp Strategist. But currently, in this current spot in the meta, I've got a card choice that is bound to add some flair to the deck. <laughs> Lethal to his spirit. Come on, Flare! <laughs> oh, hey there, Flare. Fine. Happy Feast of Winterfell! Oh, hey. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. The Madman! Let's go hunt. Here we go, the dream. Do I keep candle shot in this matchup? What would it be strong against? They run... almost nothing. Keep Mass Contender because it's a strong... It's just a strong card. And we can assume I'll draw one secret. And there we go, Flare! I was wondering if I would actually keep this card if I got it in my opening hand. But just imagine, if they have two secrets out, and you flare them, it's a 3 for 1 with a 2 mana card. Incredible. And thanks to having 2 flare, I can actually, you know, use the first one pretty liberally. What are the chances of drawing a secret next draw? There are 9 secrets in the deck, so... Ballpark 33%. So if the next turn is going to be that, I can do Secret Keeper, Secret. And if he just plays a secret, I can just play Secret Keeper, Flare. So I will coin out the Animal Companion. And if I got Huffer, I wasn't going to attack there. I don't think I attack with Misha either, since I have Flare. I'll just kind of let my board stack up. I'll never tell. Hmm. I don't want to trigger any of the secrets. Snake Trap, Wandering Monster, uh, Venom Strike Trap. Let's let this trade happen by itself. Oh, wasted his uh, mark. Where in the world is my secret? Are my secrets? Countered. Alright, that'll fill up my hand, but my hand has all the good cards, right? Almost all the good cards. Good enough. I am. I am. That card is like one of the cards I'd be sad to draw. Next turn is my Flare 3 for 1. I play a secret, which will... Oh. Hmm. Oh, nice, nice mill. Snake Venom. Good, I was about to trade. I think Team Snake here. It's the set of secrets that does nothing if he just attacks face, but hopefully he finds it in his heart to trade here. Uh. Right, maybe if he did 
didn't draw a deadly shot. The only way not to die is to play this. And then I still probably die, because that spellstone is absurd. I'd rather have a random shaman spell than any card I would draw right now. The spellstone is pretty good. I mean, obviously I'll play this, but I overdraw one of my own cards, and I think the answer is yes. I guess I can actually play one of these cards instead of build a beast. Yeah, build a beast is probably not right right now. That is not actually good enough. I could have gotten a random spell again. Ah! The value there. So I think I'm gonna have to play Zuljin immediately for the extra armor. Oh my god, the flare? That's awesome. <laughs> Here comes a big axe. Oh, I kill commanded my own zombies. Or did I? Yep. Oh, Corn Valley. That flare I cast, it has one for six to my opponent if I count Zildjian as casting flare again. But she did. This guy is the secret mage again. <laughs> the dream. It could be. For that reason, shouldn't I keep candle shot in my hand? No. Is secret mage even good against? Uh, is candle shot even good against secret mage? Probably not. Thinking about keeping uh, eagle horn. That's actually good against a few cards. Yeah, I shouldn't. Uh... Does that happen to you? Like. This map has the brightness go crazy. Hmm, it's not odd. And can he possibly cast three spells? He does have the coin. Nah, there's no way he would cast three spells. Nice. 
Get out of my way! Need a key? Oh my god, the flare! I have the technology. <laughs> Get out of my way, armor. Let me have uh, two more flares here. Oh no, poor Huffer! Oh! Humanity. That probable. To my side. Oh, very smart. I should have played Freezing Trap instead of this. Dang. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Guess it wouldn't really matter. Oh, it would have triggered this, though. Warriors of the frozen ah, shoot. I was thinking about hitting him, but... Like, eh. Well played. If only I had attacked him. Oh no. Am I throwing? Well That Lich King. Hmm. Oof. Oofers. From bad plays, great packing. My duty is to the king. I come to low. Why, I hope I played the explosive before the freezing. I don't think I did. One for one. Low order. I just thought of Lich King, like that specific card, then I would have won, but I didn't think about it. I think I'm too used to playing against Odd Man. Here comes the big Sadly, that has to go there.
start of your turn, attack a random enemy. You hope for certain kinds of random, I guess. We can still win in like two different ways. One is through just face, like by drawing kill command. The other is just go Deathstalk or Rexar, and then win with value. Despite the kerfuffles. Mm. I have another candle shot in the deck, but I guess I'll save this. I think he already has to AoE this, so... Might as well wait. Come on! 50 50! Oh my god! Well played. What a game. I think I didn't play Subject 9 because I thought if he was gonna play AoE. In fact, if I played Subject 9, he probably was gonna AoE that. Yeah, that's why. I deserved it! I played through that- I wove through that perfectly, kind of, except not hitting him with the bow because of the Lich King. Oh.